Hey guys, today we are going to go over a deck. The deck is called Elves Riding Rhinos. Uh, this is Dan's deck. It is a budget build, so you can build this entire deck for less than $100 on paper. We're going to see some gameplay. I'm not going to comment on it. I'm just going to basically comment on the deck. Uh, it's very, very good uh, against Absin. It just plays cards that are high quality cards people are not playing and they're not using and that's why it's relatively cheap it's also not blue so being not blue is uh, incredibly helpful in this format when you're trying to save money when you have jace being uh, the primary card four of jaces are pretty much this entire jack deck times you know four i guess anyway the deck uh, operates extremely well it plays rhinos it plays elves it plays value Definitely, it feels kind of like a Duels of the Planeswalker deck, and it, I definitely get the vibe from it, but on Magic Online, it's incredibly aggro. We're going to see three different matches of it, and when you're attacking, you're attacking, you're attacking, uh, you do a tremendous amount of damage uh, very quickly. So it's aggro slash mid-rangey, uh, meaning it gets there. It definitely gets there a tiny bit faster than the traditional abs and decks can get there or even the Abzan aggro deck. So uh, again, the deck list will be in the description below. Uh, I will read off the deck list to you right now and then comment on the cards while we see the gameplay. Uh, Beast Call of Savant, I do like that card. I do feel like it will see more play as rotation hits. Uh, Guilt Leaf Dean, Dine, uh, great card. Uh, Darwin's Elite, uh, Elvis Visionary, uh, Nora Root Trapper. Leaf Glider, so you're getting to your Rhino extremely fast. You're getting to your Rhino one turn earlier, hence why it's a little tiny bit better than, a tiny bit faster than Absin. Uh, then you have your Shaman of the Pack, uh, your Rhino, obviously, and your Messenger. Messenger has a tremendous amount of value here, and Darn Ball Archer is very aggro. So your lands are a one canopy, Vista, two caves. 4 Forest, 4 Land of War Waste, 2 Plains, 1 Sand Steep Citadel, 4 Swamps, and 4 Windswept Heaths. The main amount of money, which if you don't want to spend pretty much any money on the deck, you don't need the Windswept Heaths. Yes, they make your deck marginally better, but no, not necessary for this particular deck. Uh, instance, 4 Rally to Ancestors. Cyborg is pretty cool. Uh, you have Anna Feather, which is Princess Anna Feather. Uh, two Dorazes, two Eye Blight Massacres, two Lantern Scouts, surprisingly good in this type of deck. Uh, three Self Inflicted Wombs, two Transgressed the Mind, and one Phallus Stance. And you can experiment with the Cyborg. I think the Cyborg can be optimized depending on your current store's meta. Uh, the games, as you can see, if you can get down your elves extremely fast, you can finish them. And you don't need necessarily the perfect opening hand. Uh, you just need a ton of elves. Uh, in this particular game, you're pulling, you're getting an elf lord with a ton of elves on the field, and he's already down to 11. Now he's down to 10. He's cracking fetches. At this point, there's five elves. He has to board wipe, otherwise he's done. And yeah, he's pretty much in a very. This is a very interesting strategy against uh, Abzan or some of the top decks because they're not going to see it coming. It's just lightning fast and you get your Rhino down a turn earlier than their Rhino. And hey, sometimes that's all you really need. Anyway, bye guys.